Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's conclude the panel data methods in Stata by introducing an approach to convert repeated cross-sectional data to panel data. The key to the transformation is to change the basic unit. We recall that the basic units in panel data are individual and time. We usually focus on the consumer, the worker, or the firm and treat it as the basic unit. We hope that the same individual is observed multiple times. However, what we often have is repeated cross-sectional data, which means the individuals we observed this year are not exactly the same next year, or we do not know whether they are the same individuals. then we could not apply panel data methods to the individual level of observations. But we may use the panel data approaches for an upper level of observations, such as the state. Let me show you how to convert repeated cross-sectional data to panel data using the current population survey dataset. In the CPS dataset, we observed each worker's annual wage, gender, age, marital status, and educational attainment from 2012 to 2021. The workers surveyed each year were randomly chosen, and we do not know whether they are the same workers. We could not use the worker as a basic unit. However, we could use the state as a basic unit. The surveyed workers are representative of all the workers in that state. We could calculate the state level, average wage, age, gender, marital status, and educational attainment, and then treat the state as a basic unit to form a panel dataset. Now we have a panel data set. We observed each state for 10 years. We can use the panel data commands we have learned in the past nine videos to fit the panel data models. We first set the panel by typing XT set state year. We run a pooled OLS and find that being married has a negative but insignificant effect on wages. Next, we use the fixed effects method. The FE option indicates that we control for the state fixed effects using the demeaning method. I also use the year dummies for the year fixed effects. The fixed effects estimate for the marriage effect on wages becomes positive. Married workers earn nearly 50% more than other workers after holding gender, age, and education level constant and controlling for both state and year fixed effects. We performed the Hausmann test and confirmed that the fixed effects model is preferred. Finally, we usually consider adding the weights to the survey data. I use the state population as the sample weight and fit the fixed effects model. The positive marriage effect on wages drops a little bit. Now it is around 40%. It is statistically significant at the 5% level. Thank you for watching this video. See you.